millions of Americans sacrificed their jobs in order to battle the virus and save the lives of our fellow citizens. We have a solemn duty to ensure that U.S. President Donald Trump said on Twitter Wednesday he would sign an executive order issuing a temporary suspension of immigration into the United States. Trump said the immigration ban would last 60 days and apply to those seeking permanent residency status in an effort to protect Americans seeking to regain jobs lost because of the coronavirus outbreak. A one-month-old Thai baby, the country's youngest coronavirus patient, has successfully recovered after being administered a cocktail of antiviral drugs, said a doctor who treated him. The doctor added that symptoms of COVID-19 on young children tend to be less severe than in adults. Doctors at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City say signs of blood thickening and clotting were being detected in different organs of coronavirus patients. As doctors from various specialties pooled their observations, they developed a new treatment protocol. Patients now receive high doses of a blood-thinning drug even before any evidence of clotting appears. As medical teams and researchers around the world race to develop a vaccine for COVID-19, one German biotech company called BioNTech has started live human testing. The trial, only the fourth worldwide so far, will be conducted on 200 healthy people between the ages of 18 and 55 in the first stage, and will include those at higher risk from the disease in the second stage. The streets of Bunol will not be dyed red anytime soon. Spain's Tomatina Festival, considered one of the world's largest food fights, was suspended on Wednesday due to the coronavirus pandemic. The annual tomato fight held in the province of Valencia attracts over 20,000 people every August who hurl 145,000 kilos of tomatoes at each other in a narrow street. Thanks for watching. To stay up to date on the latest breaking national and international news, be sure to subscribe to our channel.